good. Okay, <laughs> tried to do a cool transition there, but it kind of fogged up the screen. All right, anyways, welcome to today's video, guys. Today, I'm gonna do a full uh, grocery haul on what I eat and buy to get uh, lean muscle gains. And I get a lot of questions on what certain types of foods I eat and what I do to gain lean muscle. Uh, so I figured I would just show you guys the typical daily foods that I buy. And keep in mind, there's no one right or wrong food to eat to gain muscle or lose fat. This is just what I use. So if you guys wanna take something that I personally enjoy or get results from, then that's great. Um, but if not, then no big deal. So. I think I just have to run to two stores today for my grocery stores. For my groceries, just GNC and Target. Uh, and then after that, I'll go through like an in-depth, kind of just like layout of every little thing that I get. And then keep in mind, I probably won't get every little thing that I usually get today, but just like in bulk, like majority of the stuff that I would buy um, on a typical grocery run. So stay tuned and I will keep you guys updated. All right, so the first store we're going to right now is GNC, that's where I get my supplements. I'm gonna pick up some protein and whatnot. Uh, so I'm gonna head there right now. GNC knocked out, now time for Target. GNC and Target and honestly really those two stores are really the only two stores I ever really go to when it comes to getting my groceries. Um, yes, obviously you can go to Walmart, Cub Foods, any other grocery store to really get your stuff. Uh, but personally that's just where I go. So this is really everything you see here. It doesn't, may not look like a whole bunch to you, it may look like a lot to you, but that doesn't really matter. What matters is that this is the foods that I enjoy and I eat on a regular, a daily basis to help me reach my goals in the gym, make sure I'm gaining uh, muscle, uh, staying relatively lean. So these are the foods that I eat. And I have them sectioned off into my proteins, my carb sources, and my fats, just keeping it really simple. Um, I kind of threw like the micros and macros all together, but I divided up the three different macronutrients, so proteins, carbs, and fats. So what my plan is here, so I'm gonna go through each macronutrient uh, individually and kind of explain why, and go through each little bit of food and explain why I choose that bit of food. So, hope you guys enjoy. So we're gonna start off with the protein sources, and right at the bat, um, obviously we have our meat. So what I have here is I have 93.7 ground turkey, ground turkey, and then I just have some Tyson uh, chicken breasts. Um, nothing special about this at all, uh, just a great source of protein. Um, and what I like about just getting meat in general is that you can choose how lean you want your meat. So personally, um, I have my meats a little bit fattier right now, so because I'm in a bulk, I have a lot of extra calories, I need the more fats to get more calories. So uh, that's why I go with a 93.7 compared to going with like a 99.1 or 96.4, I like to go a little bit fattier. And the chicken, that's our. there's like no fat in the chicken, so what I'll do is I'll add avocado oil or olive oil or something to it uh, to make it more fattier and it also makes it taste a lot better. And I'm staying away from red meat just for now, just because, as lots of you guys know, I was, I tried a vegan diet for like a month straight, so if I throw everything all together, just break back into a normal diet again, it's going to upset my stomach a little bit, so I'm slowly just working my way back into uh, normal foods, normal meat, stuff like that, so right now I'm just sticking with uh, ground turkey and chicken breast, and I'll alternate between those two throughout the week. Um, but those are a great source of protein, and you can get really, t really lean with them too, um, depending on which option you go with. So. Obviously, a staple in my diet is just whey protein. Honestly, I do so much with whey protein. If, honestly, it would be really weird if I didn't have whey protein in my diet because literally, that's honestly probably half my intake of protein for the day. It doesn't matter that it's whey protein. As long as I'm hitting my total intake of protein throughout the day, it doesn't matter really where it's coming from as long as I'm still getting some uh, meats and whole foods in there as well, which I do. So really, whey protein, it's really just protein almost in its purest form. I know it isolates a little bit more pure protein. Uh, but way, a great way to hit my protein. Honestly, I don't really drink this a whole lot, just straight up in a shake, but mainly I cook with it, or I make my protein sludge or frosting that you see, I mix in like water with it, turn it into like a frosting. Um, but I'll make smoothies with this, I make my protein pancakes like every single day, 
I like to make frosting, put on my rice cakes, literally anything with it. I'll put it in my cereal every night, my oatmeal. Um, that's really um, one of the, some of the biggest things I do with protein powder. So then here, this is just a little snack that I have, and right now, I'm a big fan of these. These are just the Lenny and Larry's protein cookies, and I'm going to putting them with the proteins just because they do have a decent amount of protein in them, um, but if you're looking at the actual nutrition label, uh, they are pretty dense in carbs and fats and calories. Like One of these cookies is 460 calories, so that's actually a shit ton of calories, but because I'm bulking right now, I'm having to eat a lot of foods that don't fill me up because if I ate 400 and 100... 4,100 calories a day versus like whole filling foods like chicken breast and um, oatmeal and big veggies and stuff like that. I would not be able to eat that much food because it's too filling. I'd be too full. I'd end up throwing it all up. So if I can get things like this that are a little bit more dense in fats, a lot really dense in carbs, it helps me get a lot more food uh, in my body throughout the day. Um, and besides all of that, these taste amazing. So that's really another reason why I like them. So really, as of right now, that kind of does it for my protein sources. I don't, I don't really eat a lot of eggs right now because, like I said, with the whole vegan thing, I don't want to just throw in eggs back into my diet all of a sudden. So um, I don't have any eggs. It's really just meat, protein powder, occasionally like protein bars, protein cookies, stuff like that. Um, and honestly, throughout all the other carbs in my diet too, there's lots of protein that adds up, like trace proteins uh, that add into my diet as well. So really, protein is just, um, it's not as complicated as we think. It's just a few things in my diet that I have. Time for the carbs, the good stuff. So my main sources of carbs, I'm just gonna start right off the bat, is my rice cakes. And honestly, these are such a staple in my diet. I probably go through like five of these a day, like five cakes a day, just because I love them so much. And from a bulk standpoint, you know, they might not be the most optimal just because they're not like the dentist thing. They're pretty, they have a decent amount of volume to them. Um, but I honestly don't care. They, I just, I don't know what it is, but I've just been, I'm a huge fan of them, so I eat them almost every day. And as long, and they help me hit my carb intake for the day, hit my uh, calorie macro goals. So because of that, I'm gonna fit them into my diet, and that's a big thing. As long as it works for you and it helps you hit your uh, calorie macro goals, by all means, work it in your diet. So right now, I'm just, I'm a big fan of the chocolate ones and the caramel ones by Quaker. Um, so those are the two mainstays of my diet, and then. Also right now, because I'm bulking, I'm a huge fan of spaghetti noodles. Uh, these are gluten-free. As I've said before, I'm a little bit sensitive to gluten. Uh, so I get gluten-free whenever I can. That's another reason why I like the rice cakes. So just pasta noodles. If you're someone who has been eating a lot of potatoes, maybe like sweet potatoes or really like brown rice, I think pasta is a great substitute for when you're bulking just because it's not gonna. It's gonna be a lot more calories, a lot more carbs, and it's not gonna be nearly as filling. So you're gonna be able to eat more food, get more calories in. Uh, so that's why I love pasta. Eat a lot of it, and it's relatively healthy too. If you get like the, I I don't know. I'm not really the one to talk about healthy because it's such a thrown about term. Um, but it's it's a cleaner version of a healthy carb source. So then next we have uh, jasmine rice packets. Um, before I even get into this, the Uncle Ben's. Uh, ready rice packets they just throw in the microwave are so clutch literally I can just throw them in 90 seconds I have a whole big bowl of rice done whole lot of carbs whole lot of calories it's super easy super convenient uh, great for people like us who are in college um, we don't always want to cook spend a half hour cooking rice and stuff like that so the Uncle Ben stuff is very good so right now for rice I like the jasmine rice just because there's not a lot of fiber in it and it's very dense in carbohydrates I believe it's about 50, yeah, it's 52 grams of carbs. Um, actually, no, it's 102 grams of carbs for this whole bag. So that's a whole lot of carbs right there. So in my case, and if you're trying to get a lot of calories and carbs in, these are a great, great option. And they're not very filling because I get if you get like a brown rice, there's going to be a lot more fiber in there, and it's going to be a lot more filling. So I like to lower my fiber a little bit whenever I can, just because it's going to make it a lot hard, easier to eat more food when they're lower in fiber. So. The jasmine rice, it's about 500 calories for this whole bag, but if you get a brown rice, it's about 380, um, and relatively the exact same volume, and these are actually going to be less filling, um, so that's why I have the jasmine rice right now. If you're on a cut, though, I would normally go with the brown rice, because it's going to be more filling, um, and a lot less carbs and calories, but I'm not cutting, as you can see. So, uh, for fruits... I didn't get any veggies today. That's one thing I was pissed off about. I normally get a little bit of veggies and stuff into my diet too, but I don't have any here to show you. Uh, but for vegetables, I would include them into my carb sources just because uh, micronutrients. 
they're gonna be your carbohydrates mainly. So, I normally just get like a bag of like microwavable uh, peas, carrots. I don't really have a whole lot of broccoli and cauliflower right now just because those are relatively filling. Um, so I'm getting a lot more dense carb and starchier vegetables like the, the carrots, the peas, the Brussels sprouts, just because they're gonna be a lot more calories, a lot more carbs, and not nearly as filling as like broccoli and cauliflower. But I didn't get those right now, so I can't show you them. So for fruits though, I'm a big fan of berries. Lots of times I'll just kind of snack on some blueberries if I want like a little carb source. Um, they're really sweet. I have a big sweet tooth, so I like to have fruit every now and then. I also get a bag of frozen fruit. If you know me, I make a whole bunch of like smoothie bowls and stuff, so frozen fruit is a huge help with that. And I think fruit is great for bulking because obviously it's healthy. There's a lot of vitamins in it, and it's a good source of carbs that can add on your carbs fast just because there's a lot of fructose and sugar in fruit. Um, so therefore, it's going to help you get a lot more calories, a lot more carbs. So fruit is a great option when you're bulking. Now, you should always have fruit in your diet, but if you're looking for a healthier form of carbs, um, don't be afraid of fruit because it's, it's pretty good for you and it's going to help you a lot. Um, we also have oat flour. So like you said, like I said, I'm pretty sensitive to gluten. So if I have um, any kind of flour, it kind of upsets my stomach a little bit. So just for cooking really, I make my pancakes with a lot of oat flour. Um, just a huge help. Uh, nothing special with this. I just like to cook with it. Um, yeah, really nothing special. And then for bread, I just have some gluten-free bread. Uh, what I'm cutting, I would normally go for like the Sara Lee um, or Village Hearth 45 slice, 45 calorie sliced bread. Uh, but these are 90 calories per slice. So, um, but it's no big deal because I'm bulking. It can easily fit in the extra calories. Uh, so that's that. Gluten-free. I think I just said that. And then for cooking as well, being that I don't have eggs, apps, applesauce is a great substitute for eggs. And if you're making something like pancakes, I really love using applesauce, honestly, better than eggs just because it makes them a little bit sweeter. Honestly, I think it makes the pancakes a little bit more fluffier and thicker, which I like uh, personally. So applesauce is a great option, especially for cooking. And I only use it just to substitute for eggs because I'm not eating eggs at the moment. I think that was it for carbs. Oh yes, and this is one of the things. But if you're someone who wants to get a quick hit of calories on your bulk, quick hit of carbs and you're too full, throw a bunch of honey on stuff. Um, also maple syrup, I don't have it here, um, but I eat a whole bunch of maple syrup as, lot, as well with honey because this is a great option. Um, for one serving of this, it's 21 grams or a tablespoon, and there is 17 grams of carbs. That's literally like a tiny bit. It's just like taking a sip of water and it's already that much carbs. So this and maple syrup, I'll put this on my pancakes, put it on my rice cakes, uh, mix it in with some oatmeal um, or cereal or something like that. So that's really, really good option. And also, I didn't show you guys, totally forgot to grab something at the grocery store, but I also have a huge, I also have a whole bunch of oatmeal and cereal into my diet. Um, these are just the carb sources I got today. Um, but like you guys see, every night before I go to bed, I have a big bowl of cereal just because it's something I love. A lot of carbs in it helps me hit my calorie macro goals. Um, and it just, it's like a little treat before I go to bed at night. And also I'm a big fan of oatmeal, like at night, that's when I kind of get like my sweet tooth kicks in and I want like my sweeter things. So I'll make a big bowl of protein oatmeal, mix it with some peanut butter, some protein powder. And those are a very dense form of calories, uh, a lot of calories in those, uh, a lot of carbs, a lot of, a lot of good, good healthy, like um, in the oats, lots of good stuff for you. So those are a big mainstay in my diet. And yeah, oh yeah, real quick, I'll bring up my intro workout. I think oh, this is a big, Part of my diet too, because every day in my workout I have a little bit of candy, just Sour Patch Kids. I take like a little handful or a serving of this, which is about uh, 22 grams of carbs for me. And um, I'll have that every day during my workout. So it's another big source of carbs I eat. And don't be afraid, you know, every now and then if you want to have some candy during your bulk, because all the sugar in here has got a lot of carbs in it, and that's going to add up, and it's ultimately going to help you hit your carb goal. So if you're really full on the day, because you've been eating clean all day, and you don't really have the room in yourself to eat more food, um, some candy or some honey or maple syrup, that's going to be a huge help for you when you need to get more calories because literally until you have to eat over 400 calories every single day, it's it, it gets kind of hard. So you're going to, once you get to that point, you'll understand what I'm talking about here. All right, so now it's time for the fat sources. So my fats are pretty simple, honestly. So uh, can't go wrong. You got your peanut butter, very dense in calories, very dense in fats. Um, I like to put this on my rice cakes, but usually I use this in my protein oatmeal. It just makes it like a different like texture. Also adds a lot of good taste to it. Um, it really just gives me the fats um, that I need. Also uh, goes hand in hand with this Nutella. 
This actually has a decent amount of carbohydrates in it too. And normally what I'll do is I'll have the Nutella just on like my toast or my rice cakes or something. And I'll save the peanut butter for my oats. Just because the Nutella, it doesn't have as much fiber. And if I ate fibrous things all day, I would probably get like 60, 70 grams of fiber, which I don't want. I try and keep my fiber around like anywhere from 30 to 40 grams. Um, so this doesn't have as much fiber. Um, so I'll put this on anything really and just kind of snack with it throughout the day. And then I'll use this um, pretty heavily at night with my oatmeal. Um, but honestly, these just taste amazing. It helped me hit my fat sources for the day. And I only have about 100 grams of fats, which for most people that's a lot. But for how many calories I'm eating, that's very few amounts of grams of fat. Um, just because with everything that I'm eating with the carbs, the proteins, like there's fat in my meat and stuff like that. So all I get fats that add up from like other sources of food. So if I just had a bunch of like foods that were purely dense in fats, I would go way over on my fat content. So really I don't eat a whole lot of foods that are primarily just like fattier foods just because I get a lot of other fats from other foods that I eat. So with olive oil or avocado oil is a huge help as well just because uh, it's very dense. Literally you could take a sip of this and you'd already be drinking like 200 calories and have like 20 grams of fat. So this is a huge help. I put this on my meat really. Uh, like I said with the chicken, it's very lean already, has no fat in it. So when I cook to get some more fats, I'll put like a tablespoon or a serving of this in with the chicken uh, just because it adds on more fat, makes it taste a little better, and gives me more calories to help me meet my goals throughout the day. And then, honestly, I don't really classify this as like a fat source, but my milk. This is cashew milk. I don't really like dairy kind of milk. I never had even as a little kid, but for whatever reason, I love vanilla cashew milk. And honestly, if you're cutting, I live by this stuff because it's very macro friendly, only 25 calories per serving. Um, and it tastes really good in my opinion. So, but it is technically two grams of fat in it and only like one gram of carbs. So that's why I classify it as a fat source if we're getting technical. Uh, but really, I'll have this any day of the week, any day of the year. Um, and it's a great option, especially if you're sensitive to dairy. Uh, so that really wraps up my whole grocery haul. So real quick, I want to mention, this is just what I eat, not what you have to eat, not what you need to eat in order to gain muscle. These are just the things that I enjoy. I love eating these things, so I'm going to eat them on a daily basis, and I'm going to fit them into my calorie and macro goals for the day in order to help me see results. So if you like any of these foods, take whatever you need from it. Um, hopefully I can help you guys out in some way, but if you don't really agree with me or you don't really like some of these foods, don't feel like you have to eat them because that's not really food. The food content alone here is not solely what's going to determine if you're getting muscle or not. Uh, that's ultimately the amount of protein, carbs, and fats you're getting into your diet. So, And you can get those wherever you need to. So that was it for now, and I'll see you guys for the rest of the video. Peace. All right, guys, good morning. It's the next day right now. Uh, I didn't have time yesterday, or I did have time. I just didn't get around to it. Um, but anyways, I didn't finish the outro to the video. So that's just my typical grocery haul at the moment right now. And yes, there's maybe like two or three things that I wasn't able to show just because I blanked out and didn't think to show them. Um, but really that's everything that I eat in order to uh, gain lean muscle mass during this off season. And if you don't like any of the things that I do eat, then it's not like you have to eat them. This was just um, my personal opinion, what I personally like. And so if you like something, take something from it. But if you don't, it's no big deal. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.